woman. I love you. Only too. a little bit though. You, <laughs> and and she didn't eat my fa that oh, I, I got. Oh, did you her. eat it? No. Oh. <laughs> but I'm gonna eat it tonight. Okay. But you're not. Um, it's so interesting because before I even heard of this song, I wanted to um, come up with this idea to break the norm. Sometimes people settle for less than they deserve and other people, they find their soulmate. But for me, I'm learning to love myself more than anybody could ever love me. And if God blesses me with a man one day who will spend the rest of his life trying to be that person to love me more than I love myself, then God bless me and that would be awesome. But I'm not putting all my energy into that. And it is my dream to experience, more so for my mom, to experience her daughter walking down the aisle. And when you look at how precious life is and people who are successful, they don't sit on their dreams. They take massive action. And I think that to experience picking out a wedding dress and to get all dolled up and to walk down the aisle and Ariana Grande said, holding hands with my mama, walking down the aisle, I just was in tears. And it's so interesting because today I watched her live performance on Ellen and she was choking up. And so it's just crazy because I'm choking up now. Like it's, my mom's my best friend, she's my world, and to think of waiting to one day, for that day for a man to ask my hand in marriage and my mom wouldn't be able to be there, it just... <laughs> Peekaboo! Are you still videoing? Yeah, I have uh, to go to a staff meeting, but I just wanna okay. say I love you. Okay. I love, love you. Too. Are you going to Chelsea's? Yeah, I'm still deciding when I'm gonna go down though. Good. Mm -hmm. Keep deciding. Okay. And then I'll uh, see you later. Okay. Mm -hmm. Love you. Baby? Yeah. Love you. Love you. Thanks, baby. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Just to think that if I never get the opportunity to share that special day with her, I don't even think I could make it through my own wedding. Like, I'd be a mess. Probably don't even have to hire a makeup artist. Like, I would just cry off all my makeup uh, so it's it's an experience that I definitely I want to seize the day and make it happen so I've been thinking of this idea of putting together vows to myself and making that promise as if I was making that promise to my soulmate and I do believe that if I'm patient and focus on me that one day that man is just gonna come out of nowhere and it's just gonna happen, it's gonna be. But until then, I am learning to love myself more than anybody could ever love me, and I wanna experience this with my mom, so I'm putting together the idea and the plans, and I wanna share this journey with you. Um, I'm so excited to pick out a dress and figure out how the ceremony is gonna go down, and then I'm gonna have, I know for sure I'm gonna have, kinda like, you know, at the altar when you're standing with your fiance, I'm gonna have a selfie mirror, and I'm gonna be giving vows to myself, and to God, and to my future husband. And I think that's so key and important that you love yourself more than anybody, and you are confident and strong, and feel complete and fulfilled as a single person, before you jump into some relationship where you are expecting someone to complete you or fulfill you or, you know. Hi, uncles! Are you going down to what's your name? Shows? Maybe, yeah. Why? Right now. I don't even want to see myself. The baby! It's boss. Oh, boss man! Huh. Sorry, this is only for an important employee. <laughs> Okay guys, so I keep getting interrupted, but long story short, I wanna share this journey with you. Leave in the comments below if you have any ideas, but I think this is amazing and I want more women to start loving themselves more and to the best that they can and not depend on a man to do that for them and to fulfill yourself first as a person and find things that make you happy without relying on other people and trying to put that on other people that they're supposed to complete you and fulfill you and make you happy. Um, 
we all have expectations and a lot of the times people fail to meet your expectations and you're disappointed and you're sad and you can fall into a depression so I'm gonna talk more about this later I gotta get to a staff meeting I love you guys Mwah.